And welcome to your Go Market Update on Charts of the Day for today, Thursday the 22nd of June 2023. Hope you're well. Hope you've had a good week and I'm sure you're looking forward to the weekend, which is nearly here. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's have a look at news today. Of course, US equity markets are soft in the session overnight. As the Fed Chairman Jerome Powell reiterated the likely rate hikes later this year, despite the recent pause we saw last week. The Nasdaq was the underperformer, perhaps a little rotation from growth stocks into value as the Dow was the best performer, even though that was still a half percent down. Uh, UK inflation numbers were stronger than expected and that did little to help short term sentiment. Uh, US futures are near neutral in the Asian session today so far. Asian markets are generally pointing to the downside in today's trading. ASX is trading towards the lows of the session as we record this around about 1.3% in the red. European futures are also pointing to a cautious open and the VIX isn't moving very much to be honest. It's still trading around those three year plus lows. The US dollar index did drop towards five week lows despite the Fed's narrative. Gold is sitting around support at this stage and copper moved back over the 200 EMA overnight after pausing early in the week. Be interesting to see if there's any follow through on that. Oil also edged higher towards the top of a short term range. Bitcoin moved higher again, now comfortably over 28,000 and testing April highs on the news of crypto ETFs. And in terms of data today, we've got the Fed chairman again testifying in front of Congress. On top of that, we've got the Swiss and the Bank of England rate decisions, Eurozone's consumer confidence, and of course, US weekly jobs later on this evening. So plenty for the markets to digest again today. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, we're going to start in FX and we're going to looking at the Aussie USD. The USD is slightly weaker against the Australian dollar today. And you can see there this 200 EMA sitting at this point here uh, and an interesting price point around about this 67.84 let's call it 68 cents so we've had that bounce off the 200 ema and some strength today if we just look at the 30 minute chart you can see there we've got a textbook double bottom on the shorter time frame and just a pause around this level that we were at on the 20th of june we're already testing yesterday's highs so this level looks really quite important as i said around about 68 and if we get an upside move on this there could be 30 to 40 pips in here in the first instance up to around about the 68 40 68 45 level on the asx there are a few shining lights despite the miserable performance of the index overall one of these is telex pharmaceuticals limited ticker code tlx you can see we had a breakout yesterday over that $12 level, this represents all-time highs. We tested this at the back end of May before this retracement, and now we'll look good to go. Have some further buying today. It is managing to hold on to gains despite the overall index performance. So one to see where it closes perhaps in the last hour. Trade safe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.